Hey everybody, welcome to another Pro Acoustics Tech Talk. I'm Nathan, and today we're gonna to be talking all about sound masking versus sound absorption, or acoustic treatment. What's the difference? How do they both work? How can they work for you? All right, so today we're gonna to talk about acoustic treatment and sound masking um, and how they're different and that kind of thing. Um, I might say acoustic treatment, might say sound absorption, might say uh, room treatment. These are different terms that I may say here. Uh, I all kind of all kind of mean about the same thing. Essentially, the idea is with, that with acoustic treatment, uh, you're modifying the acoustics of your space to improve its sound quality. This is done by adding materials to the walls, ceiling, and floor of a room to absorb or diffuse sound waves. Uh, sound is disturbances in the air. Uh, so any time that a sound is generated, if it has nothing but hard surfaces, it's going to bounce off, um, which can cause echoes and, um, you know, echoes or noises, things like that, uh, that can be unwanted and can also make the sound be perceived as louder inside the space also. Um, acoustic treatments often used in, in spaces like recording studios, concert halls, home theaters, things like that, to cut down on those echoes and reverberation. We also see these used a lot in um, gyms, gymnasiums, uh, especially if there's a stage or live music inside of a school gym, uh, also in churches and that kind of thing as well. So that differs quite a bit from sound masking. Uh, we've got a number of videos about sound masking. I'm not gonna do a very deep dive on that here today, but if you wanna learn more about sound masking, check out our other videos. But sound masking basically is the process of adding ambient sound or white noise or uh, pink noise um, to a space to reduce the perception of the unwanted sound. Um, that's where we use a small speaker in the ceiling um, or mounted to the wall and then basically add um, what sounds kind of like your air conditioner at home into the space which helps to prevent us from listening to other conversations in other rooms um, or also to help us focus on what we're doing instead of the other things going on around us. Um, sound masking is used a lot in offices, hospitals, other places like that to reduce distractions and increase privacy. Uh, at Pro Acoustics, we do both. Um, we provide commercial acoustic treatment packages um, that can help to reduce, reduce the noise and improve uh, sound intelligibility. So your sound system sounds better, your space is a little bit quieter, that kind of thing. Acoustic treatment is ideal in spaces, you know, kind of like your gyms, your churches, anything where you have a whole lot of extra noise and sound reflections. Um, acoustic treatment can help uh, by basically adding essentially a panel um, that depending on its composition, is made up, up of a different series of things to basically absorb the sound waves, whether it's uh, acoustic wool inside the panel um, or uh, wood, things like that. It allows the uh, basically the sound waves to be absorbed so that your sound system sounds better, it's less noisy in the room, things like that. Um, we can basically design a acoustic treatment system um, for your space using any number of sizes and shapes of panels. Um, they can be hung from the ceiling, they can be mounted to the wall, they can be different colors, they can come in different shapes. So really the sky's the limit on what we need to do for uh, your space to do that. Um, but the, the moral of the story here is if we're looking for a way to calm down your acoustic space, sound masking is a very different, very different process and isn't gonna help you very much. Um, in, in essence, sound masking actually may make things worse because we're adding more sound waves to the room, which may actually uh, stimulate the room even more. So in summary, acoustic treatment improves sound quality and dampens the noise levels within a space, while sound masking actually reduces the perception of unwanted sound by adding that low level background noise. So uh, we definitely get questions about uh, soundproofing sometimes. Uh, sometimes this can incorporate both aspects of these uh, systems that we've talked about here today, acoustic treatment and sound masking, uh, especially if we need to do something like that for the military. Um, but there also is some architecture involved, so if you've got any questions along those lines, definitely reach out to us. If you have any projects where we can help with acoustic treatment or sound masking, definitely check out our website, www.proacousticsusa.com. Drop us a like down below, click subscribe, uh, and let us know if we can help with any of your projects or if there's anything else you'd like to see us cover in any of our videos. Until next time, see you guys.